supporters welcome back to my channel listen do you remember the four million dollar lawsuit that chelsea huska and her husband cole DeBoer have been facing for well over a year now well there has been a little bit of an update according to the sun and the update is that chelsea has uh officially been deposed i believe cole has been deposed as well which means that they are now moving forward with this lawsuit as scheduled so what they were waiting for this whole time was the discovery phase. And in the discovery phase, what you do is you depose witnesses, you put together more testimony evidence and whatnot that you want to use at trial, which is what they're going to be to going towards with the jury and everything. And that is what has finally been completed. And I say finally, because there have been a couple of hiccups, both sides have requested extensions along the way. And that's why it has taken this long. And uh, just so you guys know, they do not want to settle out of court on this. They refuse to have a settlement conference on both sides. And so that is why this is moving forward towards trial. According to the sun.com, a pre-motion conference is set for April 11th in New York City. Wow. Uh, so it's. Um, I wonder if Chelsea and Cole are going to be able to kind of dial in for this kind of like digitally or whatever, or if they actually have to go ahead to New York, because I feel like that could be quite difficult for them with all the kids that they have and them living, you know, in a completely different state and whatnot. Maybe their lawyers can just represent them. Who knows? We will find out though. And obviously when I find out, you find out. So keep an eye out for that. This is going to be a very short video because that pretty much is the update and a kind of summary there. So just to back things up about why Chelsea and Cole are being sued for $4 million. They were working with a company called Envy and this company was supposed to kind of be like a headhunter for social media deals for them. And they said they had signed with Chelsea in 2015 and Cole in 2016. They started securing brand deals for the two of them. The two of them were promoting the product and stuff like that until they got greedy, allegedly. And so Envy is claiming that Chelsea and Cole started creating these shell companies and going behind their backs to work with these brands like outside of the contract that Envy had set up for them. And they started cashing 100% of these deals and ignoring the other clients that Envy was sending to them. And so they want the damages. Meanwhile, Chelsea and Cole, to their kind of counter defense, they're saying, well, this company, they're lying. And on top of that, they owe us money. They owe us over $150,000 for work that we've done and they have not yet paid us for. So this is a very much he said, she said sort of situation, but luckily it deals with numbers and it deals with digital media. And what is digital and what do numbers mean? Everything has to be in writing at this point, right? So I'm sure that they've got all the documents that they need on both sides and the truth will prevail in court. I'm kind of curious what you guys think will ultimately wind up happening. I do believe that Chelsea and Cole probably were doing some shady back deals and whatnot because Envy had already exposed their shell corporations that they had launched. And I do also believe to another side what they're claiming that Envy owes them money. So there's the truth is somewhere in the middle for the both of them. They both have their own truth here, but we're going to see what happens. Like what is going to be Chelsea and Cole's justification for coming up with those shell companies? And what is going to be Envy's justification for owing them some sort of money. I don't know that they owe them 150,000. Maybe it's more, maybe it's less, but what's going to be the justification? Is anybody going to say, wait a minute, we held on to this money because we found out that you guys started going behind our backs and negotiating your own deals outside of what we had going on. And so we're taking this as kind of like damages and it's only like a, a small fraction of what it is that you guys actually owe us, right? Like we're suing you for four milli and we're only hanging on to six figures here, allegedly hanging on to. So it doesn't matter. You still owe us more at the end of the day. Why would you pay? Why would we pay you guys out when you guys broke the contract that you had with us, right? Anyway, just like I said a little bit earlier, the Sun is claiming that this is going to continue to the next phase on April 20th. So keep an eye out for that for more details. And then afterwards, I do believe that we're going to start um, heading towards the actual trial, which should be quite interesting. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can stay in the loop on all of that as it plays out. But in the meantime, what do you think is really going on with this lawsuit like who do you believe or are you like me kind of like you know i see where both of them could be right and where both of them could be wrong 
Make sure to let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll tap. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.